Welcome back. A spectacle will soon take over the skies above Madisonville, Kentucky, and you're invited to attend as the city lights up the night. Joining us this morning, Lucy Bass, events director for the city of Madisonville. Thanks for coming on Thank today. you for having me. So this is so exciting. This is the first time you guys are doing this in the city of Madisonville. Let's talk about uh, where did the idea of getting hot air balloons in the sky, like where did that idea even come from? Well, this is a seed that was planted a while back and we just kind of looked into other communities that were doing this, other comparable communities and what, what kind of a draw this had and it just seems to be something that people are absolutely obsessed with. They see these <laughs> balloons and they come flying. So. Um, it's something that's great for our community to bring everybody out. And how hard is it to gather this many uh, hot air balloon enthusiasts to bring the <laughs> balloons in? I mean, are balloons everywhere? Or, I mean, there's well, bad there folks is. from far and wide coming. It's a hot yeah. commodity, apparently. It is. Uh, well, we were fortunate enough to connect with a balloon production company. Okay. And so they have a lot of connections and a lot of contacts that they were able to pull together. And they were to, able to pull um, a few personal balloons as well into this. Um, so we're really excited to see all of these. And we seen, are we seeing something similar to what folks will witness when they take on the Madisonville event? That's yes, those glowing balloons. We're going to have 10 glowing balloons out there. Two of those balloons are going to be tethered for rides for people to go up and down in. The rest of those balloons are going to be glowing on the ground, much like you see when sunset comes around. When it gets a little bit darker, those balloons are going to light up, and it's just going to be something incredible to see. If you've never seen it, Google, take a look online, and then come on out to the show because this is going to be something amazing for our community so people can take a hot air balloon yeah and I think that is the <laughs> coolest thing it's happening Friday we have a schedule of events and mm -hmm. I want you to kind of walk us through how many folks can be in this balloon because you know I've never been in a hot air balloon and you know I don't know what the <laughs> night expects so kind of give us a schedule there of what the night consists of and then um, a little bit about what these rides might entail okay yeah, sure. So um, gates open 4 p.m. The event is from 4 to 10 p.m. this Friday, August 30th. 5 p.m. We're going to have some live music by a barber baker and a heartbreaker followed up by Galactic Foghorn. Um, 5 p.m. Those, 5 p.m. Those balloons are going to start going up in the air for the okay. tethered rides. 7 p.m. Those balloons are going to start glowing. The other eight balloons will start glowing. And at 9 p.m. Those tethered rides end depending on demand. So if we've got a line, we're going to keep sending you up. Now, say you're up in a, a balloon. If, if it's not glowing, that's a bad sign because then the, the heat's not on. Right? I would say that's probably okay, not a great sign. Because they're illuminated sign. from that flame that's inside that gives them the hot air to rise. Yes. So I'm just not kind of thinking about the science behind this. If, if I didn't see that glow, I'd be a little petrified. <laughs> a little concerned. Uh, 60 feet in the air. That's, a, that's high. That is very high. So I'm really excited to see these up in the air. I know <laughs> we, we've got a lot of folks coming from, from different areas in, in the community and outside of the community that are really excited to see this because it's not something you get to see every single day. And depending on where you live in Madisonville, you probably be able to see these from your backyard at some point. If you can see Moore Park from Oof. where you're at, and maybe you didn't know you could see Moore Park from where you're at, but you'll be able to see it that night. You'd want to you'd be aware of this. Yes, ahead of absolutely. Time, so my question, if I'm watching this morning and I say, I have small kids, mm -hmm. I have a family, you know, maybe I'm a senior citizen, is there a, a restriction? Is there a limit on who can take these rides? No, there are no height or age restrictions on this. This is something that everybody can do, and we are so excited to have everybody get in line for this. How long do you stay up in the balloon when you're up there? I think that said up to five minutes. That's um, still a good amount so, of time. To yes. I don't know if I could do it. I am not a hype person, but <laughs> I think it's such a neat experience. Um, and it's $10 per person, correct? Yes. And I think we have some information there, but you mentioned um, shuttle services provided too for folks as well. Yes, we'll have a few carts out with some um, some staff on there ready to get you back and forth where you need to go. We don't want this to be a burden on anybody. We'll have handicapped parking and we'll get you to and from there as well. How excited are you as someone that has been coordinating this? I mean, because how, how long has this taken to kind of get together? Well, I think the seed got planted about a year ago and we really started diving in. And so it's been about a year in the planning. In now, the making. I would think that this is very similar to, uh, you know, hiring in a fireworks display to mm -hmm. come in and put on a show, a free show for a lot of cities mm -hmm. and their residents. So uh, was this very similar in planning this? Because you have to really go to a niche group of people. It is, and I will say it's, it's kind of like you get you have a production company for um, a concert or a live event there. You have a production company for this event, and so they've really made this a seamless event for us. Um, we've planned around them, and they've really had years in, of practice with this and know what they're doing and have been able to guide us in a great direction. And what is your hope? Because um, I don't think, you know, you're mentioning this is the first for the city of Madisonville. So what is your hope, you know, maybe for future events, yeah. um, whether it be this or other events coming to the city, what is your hope to bring to your community? Well, I just want to see everybody come out and enjoy themselves. I want to see everybody come and, and be engaged in this activity. Um, you know, just the community involvement, 
I want to see this become an annual event, something that grows every year, becomes bigger, and something that our community looks forward to as an absolutely free event to our community. Um, anybody can come out and take a look at these, and we're, we're looking so forward to it. And we have a full screen there of just the rundown of the event, the time, the location. Mm -hmm. If you can give us again like a recap of when it is and where it's going to be at yes. for folks. So this is going to take place this Friday night, August 30th at Mar Park in Madisonville, Kentucky, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, we're going to have hot air balloon rides. The event itself is absolutely free again to attend. The balloon rides are $10 per person per rider. Um, and if you have any more questions, you're welcome to check out our social media or our Facebook account. Um, all of this can be found at madisonvilleliving.com slash event. Perfect. And probably bring a chair and blanket. Oh, too yes. As bring well. a chair, bring a blanket. I'm thinking that. And bring your family, bring your friends. Bring them all. Yes. I'm